Good evening, everybody. My name is Michael, and I'm the kitchen master of this temple. So, today is New Year's Eve, as you already heard. Um, the people are very attached outside to their karma, to their habits. The question, but that's not the point. The question is, what did you make out of this year? What did you achieve? How could you work on yourself? So yesterday evening, I had a phone call to my grandmother. She's very old already. And the phone call was about 35 minutes, so quite long. And she was repeating all the time the same old story. So in that point, I could call her like 20 years ago and she would tell me the same story as right now. She repeat the words, it's very hard, all the time like a mantra. So I join her for some time in order to release some of her suffering. So I tell you my story, how I met with Zen. It was two and a half years ago. I was uh, working as a sous chef in one of the best oriental restaurants in my hometown, Stuttgart, Germany. On the surface, everything was fine. I had a good job, good salary, a lot of free time, which is very unusual for being a chef. Also, I had a nice, nice people around me, good friends. But below that surface, there was a lot of suffer. A lot of pain inside of me. So what to do? My life was stopped at that point. So I decided to change something because from nothing, nothing comes. There's a German sentence, it goes like that. So I decided to change my job and one evening I already had a new job in a hotel behind the recipe. I saw another guy sitting on my chair. I was a bit curious about that because it was my time to work. So I introduced myself to him and asked him, what is he doing here and who is he? So he told me he's a new, he, he's the new guy working here. And that was very strange for me. So on this evening, my chef lost his job, his contract, and I lost my job over there in this hotel. But the strange thing in that situation was, I was not really stuck, it, no emotion appeared in my mind. I just let it go as it was. So I teach this new guy how to do everything. And when I later, when I get some time for myself, I was thinking about like, what is the next step for me? What should I do as the next? Then it appeared in my mind, I should go far away to leave everything behind me. And I decided to go to Portugal. On that point, I did not really realize that we are creating everything which is around us in our own body, in our own mind. Everything is generated by our mind. So after some time being in Portugal, working on the Algarve coast as a chef, a guy appeared there. He was from Hungary. His name is Peter. He had been in the temple before. So in that very moment, he talked about the temple. It was very clear for me that I want to come over here and check this place out. So after Portugal in November, I went back to Germany and then straight I went back to Hungary, to the temple here, Wong Kwang Sa. After three days, it was quite clear for me that I want to spend more time because something kept me here. I, I found something for myself. All the time I was looking for something. 
where I can work through my karma. I read a lot of psychology books, but that's just a theoretical part which shows it to you. So I met the meditation here and for me it, it gave me something which I can work on my own. So then I decided to do the three months retreat. And you can really believe me, I did it with a beginner's mind because I did not know anything about Zen. I did not know nothing about Zhang and Zanim, nothing about this place. That was not good, not bad, but at least during sitting eight times here in meditation, it was very, very painful. <laughs> you can't believe me that. <laughs> so, in between this uh, three months retreat, I had some conflicts with myself because I already signed in a contract for being a head chef in a sand camp in Portugal at the spring of 2017. But I realized that I could not, re like three months, having this three months retreat, depending on our lifetime, is not very much. So you cannot really work through your own karma. It's, it's simply too less time. So I realized more and more, I want to stay for a longer term here. And then I asked Chong Sonim if it is, if it's possible to become here the kitchen master after this three months retreat. And now I'm sitting in front of you as a kitchen master. <laughs> so it could be like that very easy. So I've, I thought my kind of behaving was intuition. I did not, um, I did not really um, make decisions with the rational intellect. I just did it. Once I asked Dr. Sonim about intuition, what does it mean? And he told me it's achieving the true self in that very moment. So that's why I'm here. Also, I wanted to talk some words about being the kitchen master here in the temple. That's actually, that's the first time in my whole career as being a chef where I can totally work on my own. And we are working here hand in hand with a gardener together. And you will find that nowhere else in no restaurant having this kind of situation. And that's pretty cool, pretty cool. So he's harvesting the vegetables and I'll make this nice food out of it. During the nine o'clock sitting, I'm working in the kitchen. I'm starting to measure everything, starting to get some recipes together. <laughs> and after this three months retreat, I would proudly present my cooking book, which works out of this retreat. So if anybody of you is interested in that, then let me know, then you can get the chance to get this book. So all the, all the food which I'm cooking here in the entire, entire retreat will be available in this book. So if you ask me two and a half years ago, if I would ever go to Zen Monastery, I would call you crazy or whatever, I don't know. I couldn't simply imagine that. But the mind is like a cloud on the sky. It appears and it disappears by itself. But while we are sitting here, we want to look behind that moving mind. We want to see what's behind that, this pure and clean thing. That's why we're here. That's why we are practicing together. That's why we are sitting in front of the Buddha following the path of the Dharma instead of walking in the jungle of the Karma. So thank you for being here and I wish you a good evening.